Hey everyone, welcome to Stitching It. Today's video is going to be an unboxing and comparison of some drills that I ordered for my Heaven and Earth Designs canvases. Um, now, I am I filmed the unboxing of those canvases last year, and I haven't really worked on them too much because I ordered some drills from Ally Express um, that ended up being acrylic and I don't know if it was because I didn't know the difference between acrylic resin uh, acrylic gems and resin gems and really what the final product looked like you know I had to experience that in my diamond painting journey just like we all have to you know by completing and just when you stare at these projects for hours you really start to see the difference between these gems you know when you have some fully finished pieces under your belt you really start to recognize what a good quality diamond is so these this is a um, a package that I ordered from another company on Ally Express that is supposed to be resin diamonds um, the 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 company is called DPF Dropshipping Store, okay? And um, I'll talk a little bit about my experience with them. This video might take a little bit longer because, like I said, I want to um, compare and really show you the difference between those acrylic gems and the, the resin gems if, if, if it is what I ordered. <laughs> So I'm looking, I'm looking forward, of course, to seeing. This is a pretty heavy package, and um, I'm also going to do. I guess I'll, I'll talk about that while I unbox. But I'm going to take out the sound and do this quicker because I just want to be really careful when I'm trying to get this package open, because everything inside is probably plastic of some sort. I don't know how it's packaged on the inside, but I don't want to inadvertently cut it something. Okay. So anyway. I found out about this company from another customer on uh, Heaven and Earth Designs Diamond Painting Group and um, I really liked the way that they came packaged. So I quoted, I got them to do uh, two mini Heaven and Earth Designs kitted up and um, it was only $27 without shipping. Okay. So when I ordered these, I asked for them. I sent them the numbers of the exact drill numbers that I needed and from the stitch usage count off the website or either the one that they send you when you purchase the canvas, okay? And I asked for them to be packaged separately and so far <clears throat> looks like something has come loose in one of them. but. That may or may not be a big deal, you know. Um, what I was expecting to receive, to see when, that their resin gem, would that they are packaged by weight. Um, okay, so we're gonna open it up and look at it. You know, so far the drills have a nice vibrant color through the packaging. I can already tell you that, and they have really nice flat backs on them. And this, this one is the one I wanted to show you the comparison especially. Okay, these are the drills. Yes, it even says what I sent them, the name. They even labeled it. It's for Christmas Unicorn, Mini Christmas Unicorn. I'll put that picture up on the screen by Lori Prindle. And um, let's see now, this is even some of them are coming out here. So there's the first drill. <laughs> There's the first drill. I'm going to save it, I guess, until I figure out what's going on with this busted packaging. So, anyway, it really, it, it does seem to be bigger, you know, than the acrylic drills. It, I mean, like I said, it's supposed to be resin. It, so far, everything seems to be that way. That's a little disappointing, too. Okay, this one is Mini Spirit of the Dragonfly, and I don't need that one... I wasn't going to start that one immediately, so I don't think I'm going to open it up right away, but there is a busted bag somewhere in there. It looks like it might just be that package right there. I'll have to unpack this one really carefully. Okay. 
Wow. <laughs> it's packaged just like I wanted with the number. Anyway, um, so far I'm really impressed with um, the way they sent it. And like I said, I ordered it on February the 23rd, I think. I think that's when I pushed the order button. And it arrived today and it's March 9th. Okay? So, um, let's see now. Let's open up this one, which is the Christmas uniform one. Okay, there it is. Okay. Let's look at this. 211, which is one of the biggest colors actually in this photo. I mean, 48.6A. Let me see. I wonder if that is what they. 211. Okay. So when I ordered 211, I ordered 7,488 um, drills. Okay. And it was a lot of. It was one of the largest amounts in that picture. And I'm still trying to figure out what 48.6. It might be grams. I don't know how they convert it. I could get it out and weigh it to see how much it weighs. I do have a scale. But, um, <laughs> I'm just going to trust them. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how, like, how, like, when you unpack these things, are you really, like, here's one, 3831. I could have put in the wrong number somewhere, too. I'm not saying not anything, but I needed 31 gems. I'm just trying to figure how much, in, how much would be, how much in excess they would pack. You know, so 30, 31 gems. So how many do you think that might look like? That that looks like there's at least 50, if not 70, gems in that bag. And I asked for 31. So so far, th th in this, let's see. Now there were a couple in here, like December 72 was 37.66, and I needed four of those. <laughs> Let me try to find 37.66. Here it is. 37.66. So that's clearly way more than four. Maybe that's just the smallest amount that they package. I don't know. So, so far, that seems in order. Okay? Now, what I want to show you next, I'm going to get out. Christmas unicorn in a second. But I'm going to show you where I was working with the acrylic gems. This is what I had, I was kidding it up as I go. And I got this far in it. I'll show you my progress in a second. But I, I got this far with it unpacked using the drills. Um, before I was like, okay, these acrylic gems are not up to the quality that I need. <laughs> to, you know, for the amount that you pay for these canvases and the amount that you expect to pay when, if or when you frame them, you know. Um, so anyway, we won't talk about necessarily color comparisons right now because I'm already seeing this 211 that this is supposed to be is clearly <laughs> a completely different color from this 211. So it's going to be different colors. So there's no there's no way that you're going to mix these gems, okay? Now <laughs> I can already tell these look a lot smaller. They do overall the knees, and I will show it to you once we get a chance to start doing some close-ups. But I'm gonna compare this 211 to this 211. This, these are the resin gems I ordered. 
And these are the acrylic gems, okay? Okay, so these this is going to be the comparison of the two drills that I have. These are the ones that I have on the project, and these are the ones that I just purchased. And so far, I mean, I'm gonna ha I would I don't know if you can tell through the camera, but you can tell visually that these are smaller gems, and they don't line up as evenly and snugly as these gems do in the tray okay already and another thing is these if you take a look at uh, where did I put my tweezers here's some tweezers okay if you also take a look at um, This is a resin one, and the resin, oops, let me, get, let me see how close I can get. Resin gems have very flat backs, which adhere to the, to the canvas a lot better than um, this one, for example is an acrylic gem. Actually, that one's got a pretty... Some of them do have pretty good flat backs, but when they don't, they they end up being curved. They end up being curved, like this one. Let me see if I can find... There it is. So this isn't exactly working with the camera as I thought it would to get a good close-up shot. I do have a macro um, lens, but I don't know if I'm going to break it out or not. Okay? But another thing that they say that the, the, the resin gems have a lot more sparkle. And that's another thing that's hard to capture on camera. Let's see if I can get any better light. But to me, the acrylic gems look a lot flat, more flat. You know, they don't have those sharp angles that the that the um, the resin gems do, so they sparkle as much. I'm still trying to see if there's any way we can get some better sparkle on either of these gems, just in the tray. I'm going to show you what it looks like on... Um, the progress I've got so far with the acrylic gems. This is my a close-up of um, one of my crown jewel canvases of an image called Mini Christmas Unicorn and it's a black and white adhesive um, printed canvas and I really really like it but if you can see this I don't know right from this distance it's not that bad but when you get up closer you see there's a lot of gapping in there and when the drills aren't close enough they don't click into place as much and they don't it's hard to maintain straight lines you know and plus you know I think the good thing about the black and white printed symbols is you're not gonna see glaringly obvious um, parts of the canvas showing through and especially in this area where it's light colored, you know, it's not going to show as much. But, and that's one of the reasons why I did order this canvas in black and white because I knew I was going to get acrylic gems. I don't know why. That's what I'm saying. Why didn't I just wait? Because I, you know, I wasn't going to work on it immediately or finish it immediately. Why didn't I just wait until I found a good source of, of the resin gems? But I'm going to get a little bit closer up here. We'll see. So you can possibly see that there is a lot of gapping in these gems. 
So I'm going to do a section of this painting um, with my new resin gem so I can see a difference. Um, to see if there is a difference. You know, there should be because the gems that I look to me, they look more fuller and uh, plumper, you know, than the other drills I have. So I think these are going to fit a little bit better. So I've gotten started on another corner um, in that same color 211 that I was showing you earlier and it, I, it, is, it is already a big difference to me um, because I am getting um, the clicking sound that I'm used to when I'm working with a diamond painting kit when the diamonds are sized properly for the spaces on the grid. So I can tell you right now that the diamonds that I had ordered from just a, a random uh, shop on Ally Express, you know, I I'm probably ended up wasting my money on them, you know, because they are not sized properly for this grid. And <clears throat> the ones that I just ordered clearly are. There's minimal, I mean a minimal amount of gapping. And it needs adjusting to stay, you know, just, you know, right on. Now, um, oh my gosh, I love, this is the only black and white canvas I have. It's so much fun. I love it. But, um, I also noticed that, uh, the adhesive tape I'm not too crazy about. I don't think I'll be purchasing adhesive tape canvases, you know, from anywhere on purpose. I, I definitely prefer glue, but it's okay. You know, I've done it before, and the, the adhesive that they use is a, is a high quality. So I think this is going to work out um, better, and I'm going to be happy with the, the um, end result of this one. <laughs> so um, I hope that was helpful to you, and... You know, because one of the hardest things about the heaven and earth designs is not the canvases themselves, but where do you get the drills? You know, how can you be sure to get what you want that's going to work with the canvas? And while there are American sellers, you know, and I've investigated, you know, getting a quote for them, it is definitely more expensive. And um, if they have any some sort of production wait time, it takes just as long to get here from China 
as it does for, to be kitted up by someone in the United States. So, um, anyway, uh, I hope that was a helpful video for you. If you have any questions, um, you know, let me know. But I would also direct you to the, the Heaven and Earth Designs Facebook group because that's really where most of the um, information that, you know, this, the, this particular company that I found out about, um, I found out about in that group. So I guess I will be guys black with you guys in, in, with a, a crafting update sometime soon. Uh, but that's it. And thanks for watching. Thank you.